the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. We are facing due south. Okay, as you can see on, on, on top, I have uh, two pieces of boards and then two more pieces of boards right there towards the bottom of it on this top back end of it. The reason why is I went ahead and split uh, two of the two by six by 12s and I split them in the middle. By doing that, I used, I made two out of them and I used them right in here. This is just to brace it and uh, to make it stronger. And I did the same thing on top I, and I had to... Um, I will be adding I if you can one four by four on top of this go. three back four by fours with uh, three metal braces on each so corner on, on each top. end of the four by fours. The reason fours. why I decided to put more of um, support is because I am going to be adding this winch right here and this is what's going to be controlling it going up and down and this are the um, the wheels that can allow this cable to slide in the middle we'll see how that goes I'm kind of winging it as I go all right about to get started I'm gonna drill the hose on every post and I'm gonna start with this three, the smallest ones, shorter ones. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be dr using this um, bits here. The the small one is a quarter, and the big one is a half. Which you need a half. So I get the quarter to start it, and I end it off with the half. And these are the bolts here that I'm gonna be putting on. I decided to cut the three four by fours in the front by 18 inches. This will help me get closer to the 36 degree angle that is needed in the winter time. 
I also decided to move the two by sixes um, to overhang in the front versus the back. This will help me also to um, put in additional solar panels in the front.
Well, looks like we're getting closer to the end. I just finished installing um, the 10 solar panels that I had. I went ahead and um, put caulking all the way around them. This way it will keep it watertight. I wanted to do so just in case I decided to put something underneath it and keep it from getting wet. And without any further ado, let's see if this is going to go up as easy as it did without the solar panels. Well, it looks like I underestimated the weight of the solar panels. I really didn't think it was going to be this hard just to take it up. I am having a hard time but taking it up but I wanted to make sure that um, I did it in camera so you could see. I think um, the one thing that is good to note here is that it would have made it easier for me to take it up if the front three four by fours would have been closer to the center and this would have helped offset the weight and it would have made it easier for me to take it up and down. So if you're planning on building something like this, keep that in mind. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. This will help with the algorithm to share it with uh, people that are looking to build a, a solar stand such as uh, mine. Um, of course, with a few tweaks so that uh, they don't have to be going through this torture that I'm going through just to get my solar stand up. I decided to build my adjustable solar stand out of wood because it was going to be easier for me to build it that way. Um, I don't own a welder. The total bill for this was $486 plus taxes. Well, I think it turned out pretty good. It will be season adjustable. In the winter, it will have 36 degree angle. In the spring and fall, it'll have a 60 degree angle. And in the summer, it'll have an 84 degree angle. This is to maximize the sun and only having, having to adjust it three times a year. I recorded this video in mid-October. I'm just now putting it out. And wanted to let you know that I'm located in Houston, Texas. Well, looks like we've gotten to the end. If you made it all the way through the video, thank you for watching Journey into Nature, the outdoors, and I do appreciate your comments and your likes.